Use snapshots in Lightroom to get better at editing your images. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in this video, I wanna share with you one of my favorite features in Lightroom Classic. This feature is called Snapshots. So what are snapshots? Snapshots are a way for us to be able to save and edit that we applied to an image and then re-edit that image, but then also always return to that original state that we saved as a snapshot. Let me show you how it works. All right, here we are in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. I'm gonna use this image of these mountains in the fall to do a basic edit. So first I'm going to add a bit of contrast. I'm actually gonna start with dehazing a bit to give us some more contrast in that background. Bring up the exposure a tiny bit. I'm gonna warm it up a bit, especially with that blue atmospheric background. All right, this is a good initial state to start from. I can always get back to the state if I create a snapshot of it. So I'm gonna go over here to this left side column and select the plus icon next to the snapshots dropdown. Select plus and you'll see this new snapshots dialog box. Let's call this one basic. Hit create. Now underneath the snapshots dropdown, you should see that basic snapshot that we created. Now I like the look of this edit, but I also like to try a few different ways of editing this image. So I'm going to change the colors a bit on this image. So I'm gonna drop down here and increase these fall colors quite a bit. That's a little bit too warm for me, so I'm gonna bring this back a tiny bit. And bring up that saturation. Down. Maybe add a little bit of that atmospheric perspective back in. And then I'm even gonna create a little curve to the image to the edit. All right, so now I've edited those colors a bit more. Now I'm gonna create a second snapshot to save this stage of my editing process. So I'm actually gonna type in the keystroke command N. If I was on a PC, I could use control N. I'm going to rename this, instead of using that timestamp, I'm going to rename this color and hit create. Now we see basic and color are the two snapshots I have in my snapshots dropdown. If I select back on basic, you can see these adjustments over here on this right side column are going to change. So they're gonna reflect what they were set to when I first did my initial edit, or my basic edit. And then if I select color, you can see they've been updated to what they were when I created the color snapshot. Now, hopefully you notice that the navigator preview image shows a preview of what the snapshot's gonna look like before it's applied. Let me show you. So if you watch this preview up here, you can see it update. If I hover over either of these snapshots, that preview shows me what it's gonna look like prior to actually clicking and applying to my image. So I go back to basic, hover over color, you can see that change there. Let me show you a little bit better with a black and white image. So I'm gonna create a third variant and make it a black and white image. Bring up quite a bit of contrast and bring in a bit of that vignetting there. I'm also going to Dehaze a bit more, darken that down. And then I'm actually gonna bring up that texture and clarity quite a bit. I'm gonna type command end again and call this one black and white. Return, and now you can see I have basic black and white in color. That preview image in the navigator panel shows what the image will look like if I click on any of these snapshots. All right, so now let's say I wanna update my black and white image. Maybe that's a little bit too much contrast. I could come back here to the black and white preset, select it, and bring down that contrast. Now, if I right click, I'm gonna bring back a bit of that vignetting too. If I right click on that snapshot, I have an option to update with current settings. So now if I select that, my black and white snapshot is now adjusted to reflect that decrease in contrast I just applied. So this is where you need to be careful. If I update a snapshot, that original snapshot is now lost. So it's good to maybe create a duplicate of a snapshot if you like it in that state before updating. Now hopefully you should notice that when I right click, I have some other options here. I can delete my snapshot. I could also do that by selecting this minus icon next to the plus icon where I created my first snapshot. If I right click, I can also rename and I can copy this snapshot setting to the before image. 
If I navigate down here just above my film strip, if I select this YY image icon, this is my before and after image. My before image shows me a preview of what my image looked like originally out of camera. Now, my after shows me the current state of the current edit of my image. If I right click on the black and white and select copy snapshot setting to before, now my before image is that black and white image. So if I select color, my after is now reflecting this snapshot. All right, that was snapshots in Lightroom Classic. They're fairly easy. They're also incredibly useful and one of my favorite features. They're a great way to save and edit to an image and recall that edit at any time. They also provide the flexibility to edit an image in multiple ways and quickly review each look. They also allow us to update and edit along the way, providing the opportunity to refine each look. Now, snapshots can also be used as a before state in the before and after view. Now, if you have any questions regarding snapshots or requests for future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.